All right, guys, I'm really excited to show you this. I want to show you some progress that we're making with the uh, expert shiny app course at Business Science. This is an app here that has now we're moving from the front end uh, to the back end. So being able to manage users, being able to um, actually be able to work with persistent data stores. So when a user changes something, it saves. So let's check this out. I'm going to type in user one and I'm going to give it the password for the user one for this particular application. They log in and you can see they get access to the stock analyzer. And what it's doing behind the scenes is it loads in some data. So they last looked at Adobe and it loads that up. Um, so say they want to add some favorites and this is where persistent data storage. So for user one, they're going to have different favorites than say a different user. So user two. So if the user adds a favorite of Adobe, say they add another stock like Apple, uh, we click that in here, uh, we analyze it. So they've last clicked on Apple and they favorite it and that gets added right here. So what we want to do is when the user logs out, uh, we want to be able to save the state here. So what I'm going to do is actually just refresh and show you what happened. So when I refresh um, there, the user is effectively logged out now. And when they try to get back in, they just type in their name and their password. And when they click log in, it's now left on Apple and it's now uh, persistently, it knows which favorites that they've added. So if they um, want to log in any more times, um, Adobe and Apple will always pop up in their last click. So how did I do that? Well, I added what's called persistent data and I combined that with the user management, uh, which is the login screen. So if a different user logs in, they'll get a different context. So I'm going to actually type in user two now and I'm going to show you this in action. So user two, when I log in, they have a stock that's pre-selected of Netflix because that's the last stock that they looked at and their favorites are MasterCard, Visa and Facebook. And if I refresh again to log out and do user one, pass one, uh, we can see that uh, Apple and Adobe and, and Apple are the favorites. So Apple is selected and we've got persistent data storage. So this is what I'm talking about when we're moving from the front end now, designing a web application um, and getting it styled and having all of the functionality. Um, at, to moving to the back end where we need to be able to manage users, we need to be able to manage um, the ability for people to uh, really have context to what they're doing. So if you have lots of users, you want to be able to manage the different contexts.